What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We have some updates for you on our broody hen. If you haven't been watching or you've missed a few, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Couple questions that came up uh, after that video was one, why did we move her? Honestly, it was mainly because she looked extremely uncomfortable. She had her head facing down inside the bucket uh, and we wanted to make sure she was safe from predators as well. So we moved her into a brooder box, put the cap on and that seemed to be a whole lot better for her in the end. Um, you gotta remember, this is the first time for us doing a lot of this stuff. So we don't always make the same decisions as everybody else. And not only that, but I don't know that we have to. Uh, we can make decisions that are right for us, just like you all can make decisions that are right for you as well. Uh, yeah, she got in the box and jumped out. Uh, we got her back in, we closed it up, and everything was great. She took to her eggs again, and she sat there on them for a couple weeks. Thank you to everybody who gave us some advice on moving them at night. Uh, probably would have been a better idea. However, we probably wouldn't have been able to get a good video out of it. Also, uh, you can't really tell because our camera and lens that we have was exceptionally good in low light. So that place where she was was fairly dark and it was towards the uh, later part of the day. Um, and it, it, again, it ended well, all's good. Uh, but wanted to give you an update because we have hatched our very first chicks on Life on Beagle Road. <laughs> Pretty excited about it. Courtney is ecstatic. This was one of the goals that she set for herself and uh, we've achieved it within the first year of owning chickens. So really, really happy about it. Court's hoping to get a few more chicks along the way. Um, mama's taking care of those chicks and keeping them warm, making sure they're okay. We kept her in the brooder box for a little while and then I could tell that she was trying to let her chicks out. So we moved them into one of our coops. Uh, and in our coop, we put in a small rabbit hutch um, that she goes in and out of with the chicks. She keeps them in there, keeps them warm. Um, we didn't get a video of that, so I'll have to get that out to you, but uh, it's working out exceptionally well. So really excited. This is uh, tremendous for us and hoping to be able to hatch more chicks in the future. haven't followed us on Instagram, you can find us at Life on Beagle. Just wanted to say that uh, this week has been exceptionally busy. We haven't been able to get to doing the things that we wanted to do and get these videos out as quickly as we can. It's the end of the school year. Everything is all wrapped up. Uh, some major life changes coming for us. We're leaving for the beach, getting on a vacation, so we're trying to get out these videos when we can. And if there's a small lapse, we will be back full force. You can count on it. Keep up, keep up camera, keep up, keep up. Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Welcome to Life on Beagle Road, everybody. Oh, welcome to life. Autofocus, like, just, can you stay with me? Like for once, just stay with me. Focus on me, woo! Why do you take so long to focus? Ah.
Is it creepy if I'm this close to the camera? I have a rooster on my shirt. Imagine that. Good stuff. I love it. Oh, 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 oh